Welcome to Let's Play Star Fox Assault. If you were disappointed at Adventures, don't worry, this is more of the Star Fox that we wanted. At last! And it actually controls well. And don't you worry, if you were disappointed in Adventures, I was. <laughs> if you were disappointed, good. <laughs> yeah, that, that means you, you, you know what a Star Fox game should be. Yeah, it's a lot like this one, actually. With that amazing orchestrated He's here. <laughs> soundtrack. He's here! Hey, hey, how's it going, ladies? I'm the conductor, I use my beak. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I love that pose. It's nice to see uh, an actual Star Fox game on the GameCube. It looks pretty good. Yeah, even to this day. Yeah, it looks good. I, I do still think that uh, Adventures, from a graphical standpoint, does look better. But with such detail-oriented people like Rare, I don't... Uh, that's kind of what I expect. I really thought they were going to bump into the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so this game was developed by Namco, and I feel like the more arcadey thing definitely works for them. This is much more of an arcadey type game. We've talked a lot about Assault in the last two games, and we have mentioned, unlike Star Fox 64, Assault is a linear game. There's one single path through it. But that works all right. It's fun to play, and, like, you can breeze through it in a few hours. Honestly, you can breeze through the other Star Fox event. Like, Star Fox 64, you can burn through it. Despite having three different paths, you can still burn through it in about an afternoon or so. So I don't really... Like, I get what people mean, but I don't see it as that big of a deal, personally. Also, I'm playing this on silver, because if you get all the silver medals, you unlock a secret. Remnants of Andros's butchers, you've kept us busy, but now your end is at hand. No quarter! Show these dogs we need business! So the voice work in this game... <clears throat> uh... My opinion on it is mixed. It's hit or miss. I do prefer Star Fox 64. I don't know if that's just... I wouldn't say nostalgia. I just played that game for the first time this year, but... Just for novelty's sake, I guess. It's weirdly more organic. Yeah, I know. <laughs> In Assault, it actually sounds awkward and weird. <laughs> Stinking ape. We underestimated... <laughs> Stinking Oof. ape. We underestimated... Detecting gate transmission outside the combat sector. Look at that fresh new great fox. <laughs> Damn, that yeah. money helped. Thanks, Dinosaur Planet. That two hundred dollars really went to uh, went to good use. <laughs> Team Star Fox, ready for bought a ton of turtle wax. <laughs> we also bought new voices. The voices themselves are generally better, I think, especially Peppy. Peppy went through a big. Peppy and Slippy went through big improvements from Adventures. What was wrong with my old voice? Well, well they stopped being alcoholics for one. <laughs> I really like these. Well, Fox, looks like we're not too late. They do all sound like they're talking into a tin can, though. Yeah. Yeah, the audio quality in this game is, especially for the voices, generally really bad for some reason. Almost all common scum in it for the money. I don't know if it's compression or if they actually put a chorus effect on them. They're only in it for the money. Do you know any other group that's like that? <laughs> Sweet Jesus, look at that picture of Andrew, who in this game is referred to by his last name for some reason. Yes, you must take him down. I'm counting on you. Now get prepped and go. Well, like, they're not going to call him Andrew like they know him. They're not friends. <laughs> well, they call everyone else by their first name. Why not him? Andy, what's up, buddy? Gonna kill you. Now, I know we could have just, you know, got an elevator, but we're running, goddammit. I know we could use the turrets on the Great Fox. That's not as fun. Look, I had a fuck with a staff. No offense, Crystal. I had a fuck with a staff for a bit, and it's nice to actually do what I love. That's okay, I lost that staff months ago. Y yeah? Yeah, I, I, I prefer planes now. It's like, what the fuck am I doing with this stick? So be careful out there. I feel like Rob was supposed to be talking there, but he didn't say anything. 
robo chewing gum. <laughs> Are you all ready? Nah. I don't. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh well. Uh, in this game, Peppy takes more of a um, an informative position rather than being out in the field. Crystal takes that spot. She learned quickly how to pilot a, a uh, spaceship, I guess. Yeah, I like that Peppy's more in the advisor role. I think it fits him. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he was kind of supposed to be that in Adventures, but it was more like, here's a map, and that was it. I mean, I knew Crystal already had her ship, but I'm going to guess the R-Wings just literally have an Atari joystick to control it. <laughs> <laughs> this makes it go. I know how to fly a fucking ship. Okay. But look at this. It's Star Fox. Can we just appreciate this? Look how Star Fox this is. It's so beautiful. It controls pretty much exactly like Star Fox 64. The only difference is if you use a bomb and it blows up enemies, you actually get a multiplier bonus. Ooh, nice. It doesn't just count towards charge shots. Yeah, in this particular opening level, there's a bajillion things to shoot. It's very satisfying. I played through the first level just, in, again, in preparation for this game. Uh, oh my god, it's it's such a good Star Fox level. You also get point bonuses if you take out small squads of enemies. And I really love the soundtrack to Star Fox Assault. It's just so good. <laughs> it's so good. It's fully orchestrated. It sounds great. Now, one question that does need to be answered at the end of this LP. Uh, we are fucking gushing over this game right now, but will we continue to be gushing over it in part 10? Uh, Assault has plenty of problems, don't worry. Yeah. I don't know, looking at this, I, I know it's been a long time since I played it, but this still looks like a game. Yeah. I've played through this game once. It was sh shortly after I, uh, like this year, I just went on a big Star Fox kick. I bought literally every game except Adventures. I played a fair bit of each of them, and my first playthrough of Assault, I, 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 I'm, I mean, I'm sure I've said this several times throughout our Star Fox LPs, but I loved this game. I thought it was an absolute blast from beginning to end, and I thought it was pretty close in quality to Star Fox 64, even. I feel like there's something special about 64 that they never quite recaptured. This does get close, though. And that's kind of why I find it a little sad that the later entries kind of didn't. It's like, this could have been a great stepping stone to, like, even better games. Despite this being a very fine quality game in its own. And it's just sad to see where it actually went from here. But for now, let's just enjoy the assault. Yes. I'm not worried. <laughs> We're dying, sir. Saul? <laughs> uh, okay. The one thing I realized playing this game as well is this is the one game in existence where I prefer inverted controls. It's not inverted by default, I think, and I just had a rough time controlling this game when the controls weren't inverted. <laughs> Having fun there? I think I'm trying to figure out how to boost. <laughs> it would look more like Fox was like, and a one, and a two. Just G diffuser system output. Oh yeah, Fox talks really fast. <laughs> he is hyped up this entire time. I like to think all of his adrenaline from adventures is just kicking in and it hasn't left him yet. He seems to have fled, but he may be lying in wait for us. I want all of you to proceed with caution. Worrying a bit much, aren't you, Gramps? I mean, you haven't done this in ten years, so, I mean... Don't tell Falco how long he's been alive. He doesn't remember. <laughs> it's longer than you think. <laughs> <laughs> what a quiet engine. Oh, those, uh... Those hybrids. So here we are in Fortuna. Uh, you remember, Fortuna in 64 was the ice planet. That was actually supposed to be Ficina. Ficina is also in this game, and they actually got the names right. Fox, these guys are all over me. Get rid of them. 
Uh, so they didn't decide to pull a Capcom and just keep getting it wrong for 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's, that's classic, Falcon. Yeah, I guess I owe you my life or whatever. <laughs> I owe you a lot more than that. I ain't paying it either. Yeah, yeah, Stromboli, fucks. Also, your opinion on this may vary by who you are, but Falco is a lot less of a dick in this game. He's more of just, like, a, a lovable douchebag. I think that's how Falco should be. Yeah. yeah. Just, like, a hard-ass, but, like, you still like the guy, and he, you know, he's a little rough, but he's not a shithead. Yeah. Not anymore. Not anymore. At 64, he didn't care if you lived or died. <laughs> you saved my life. Here, have a bomb. We're even. <laughs> that was square. Go blow somebody up. Maybe a school? Wink. Ah. Falco, no. <laughs> a school of bad guys? You know, like a school of fish? Like, yeesh. Don't blow up a school of fish either. Read a thesaurus, Fox. Okay, about how a thesaurus isn't gonna do anything. <laughs> I was so hopeful. <laughs> I feel like you helped him by accident. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, Fox, you're such a hero. Y yeah. Yeah, I am. <sighs> of course, Slip. Any time. Although with his new voice, it's more like, of course, Slip. Any time. Of course, Slip. Any time. It's like he's sneezing. Of course, Slip. Any time. <laughs> Here we go! Stole for Crystal. Crystal's a lot more fun in this game. Because she's in it. Because <laughs> she has something to do. <laughs> I was yeah. gonna say, because she does stuff. Definitely want to clear out these guys. I think you get a pretty big bonus if you can get them all. Actually, you just get a bonus by killing them normally. <laughs> oh, I couldn't get that one. I finished this level at, like, maybe 300 hit, and I thought I did pretty good. <laughs> and then you over here, 556, two-thirds of the way through. So thankfully, Andros is finally long gone. There is no Andros. But of course, his nephew's got to bring his memory back, let's say. Boykini, you ignorant ape. What are you up to? Careful, Fox. You to my knowledge, there's no spoilers, I guess. There's no bait and switch in this game. I'm pretty sure Andros is actually not in this game. There is no poorly written plot line or forced thing where it's just, oh yeah, by the way, it's Andros. What kind of line is that? <laughs> but Oikini's robot talks with its mouth. <laughs> I really wanted him to say, you think we're dating? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, Falco. Yeah. I'll show you. Hate his voice, by the way. I mean, I like that he's just obviously pathetic, like they don't take him seriously. Because he just wants to be his uncle so badly. <laughs> don't hug me. Pelvic thrust with no pelvis. Throat thrust. <laughs> <laughs> Tickle, tickle, tickle. Oh, I give up. And freeze perfectly. No molecule of this robot was moving. <laughs> Is that all you, fools you are literally going to blow up. Fuck! <laughs> I mean, I thought that I, I really hoped that happened, but it did. You know when you're talking shit and someone shoots you in the head. <laughs> so we got this mysterious moth thing. So this is our antagonist for the game, the Aperoids. Hooray, a new idea, even though they're basically bug Borg. <laughs> you, you know what? I'll take it. Yeah, it's something different. And bug Borg was a really rough time in the Power Rangers timeline. <laughs> and not Star Trek, where the Borg are from. Oh. I remember that old Beetle Borg show that was kind of made by the same company. <laughs> Is that more what you were thinking, Jacob? I, I, yeah, I was thinking, like, Borg, like, doesn't everything in Power Rangers end with Borg when it comes to the robots? N no, some of them end with Zord. Close enough, Yoshi. Get off my ass. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll kindly get off. 
Also, this boss is dope. He's hard on the hardest difficulty. Maybe that's because I'm bad, but he's still a lot of fun. This is just a generally amazing opening level. <laughs> oh, okay, I wasn't fucking talking or anything. I guess you won't know where the fucking weak point is. Hmm. Thorne's like, I, I don't. I actually don't, I just gotta wing it. <laughs> Maybe it's the glowing thing. Nah, that'd be silly. Maybe it's the tiny, tiny spikes on his head. I'm gonna aim for those. It could be. I mean, that's how I would design a boss, just to be a dick. <laughs> if I was a game developer, like, ah, yes, here's this giant, obvious spot. But that actually makes him stronger, and you'll die if you don't, you know, if you don't stop. That would be awful, Yoshi. <laughs> I would not buy- I would boycott your game. <laughs> I would make it like a joke boss, like you're used to all the other stuff, and then you get this piece of shit, and you're like, why? And I'm like, can't- you'll like Undertale, fuck you. My point stands, I'll boycott <laughs> your game. Every time I saw Mission Complete in this game, I was like, okay, how do- how do I get it accomplished? You can't. <laughs> no, it's just complete. Yep, one path. Somehow, we beat it. Hmm. Are we? What a strange creature. Yeah, you guys, I don't know where you guys went. Wait, what's that? I don't believe it. Fox, you have to get that. Really? Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. I mean, Do not adjust your set. We are not watching this video at 1.5 times speed, but you should be. Please turn that on now. It'd be hilarious. Fox, grab that thing and get out of there. I really like Star Fox. <laughs> I'm safe. All ships are home. That was awesome, team. Nicely done. I see you have a That was awesome, me and the rest. <laughs> nice thing about the difficulty levels, you get a score multiplier at the end based on what level you're at, and usually that multiplier is going to get you up to the badge anyway. I did also go through it again in gold. Just to show how high up it gets, it does actually get kind of difficult later. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just, during my playthrough of the first level, I played it on the hardest difficulty, and it was, it was pretty challenging. I mean, I'm not the best at Star Fox, but I did have a rough time. I, I just think it's funny that he got a silver, and he was just like, that was awesome, team! And he gets a gold? Alright, that was a good start. Could be better, but, you know. <laughs> like, Fox, you can't do any better. No, 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 there's room for improvement. Don't get a big head. Uh, Crystal, it would have been really great if you shot that guy at the, uh, three-minute mark. Fox, the trouble with being an empath is I feel them die. <laughs> Why am I on this team? <laughs> do you think I actually care about the time? I feel <laughs> death every day. Well, you don't seem to have a problem with it. Hey, yo, Crystal, I feel death every day, too. It's called work if a staff fox. Hey, yo. <laughs> All right, come, go get some ravioli. It's five in the morning. You know, you could have stayed gone. Yeah, could have. <laughs> <laughs> I'm considering it. 